seafood stew. Yeah, we has, have clams, oysters, salmon, cranberries, onions. Uh, I think he said there's some crab in here, the chanterelle mushrooms. The chanterelle mushrooms are one of the ingredients in the seafood stew that visitors are invited to sample. Unlike the metal stock pot used here, the tribe prepared this meal in a pot made of cedar. How can you cook stew in a wooden pot? They didn't have pottery, they didn't have metal, so they didn't have a pot they could put in the fire. So all they had was wood. They made it all, not all they had, but they used cedar in order to, um, to cook their food, so they developed what's called hot rock cooking. Not only would the fires be going 24-7, but they would be ringed with rocks so that somebody could be able to always get a fresh hot rock to be able to put into the pot that was cooking. They're, they cook a traditional stew, so that pot would have basically everything that they currently had available. So they would put in uh, fish and clams and camas and berries and nuts, and then you just basically keep putting hot rocks in there. The hot rocks never actually make water boil, but they get it hot enough so things like roots and meat will actually cook. And of course, no Northwest Native American event would be complete without a traditional salmon bake. The fish were caught in the Columbia River by tribal members baked over an open pit fire with, what else? Cedar. Well, in the old days, obviously, it was just cooked without anything on it. Um, it was just one of many different ways to cook salmon. Um, on nice days like this, if you had fresh salmon, it was a popular way to cook it. Uh, the old word would be quishin. The old Chinook word for roasting salmon is quishin. If the weather was right and you had fresh fish, then, a, you know, then it was cooked in this way. That was just a table song, you know, when we're out on journeys, you know, and people are waiting to be served, or we're in the plank house and people are waiting to get served, everybody will jump up and do their table song, you know, just to, to honor the, the people that have been cooking for us and so forth. So I just wanted to offer you this Chinook table song. So enjoy, enjoy. Sure. <laughs> I think there's a tremendous amount of resources out there that uh, folks don't know. And even us, we're learning more and more about it all, every day, you know, about what resources were out there that's, you know, that would help us, you know, whether it be medicines. Nobody's had seal oil in a long time, you know, but I'm sure it's the biggest thing for us is, you know, the wisdom. The elders carry the wisdom, you know, and, and you just need to know that. But to you carry know. it on. Carry it on. And as, and as you learn, you know, of course, with us, as you learn some of that wisdom and you learn the ways, then you start picking up on the clue that your ancestors are out there, whether it be in how the smoke swirls at a fire or whether it be how the fog travels on the water or, you know, different things that occur that help you out as you're on journeys, you know, you know that the ancestors are looking down on you.